Hey everyone, it's time for a Hannah Montana featured cartridge video. So today I'm going to show you Hannah Montana. I'm using this paper from Stampin' Up! And it's a thinner paper, so I'm going to set my blade to 4. I'm keeping my speed and my pressure both at 5. And I am going to use the Pop Princess, Pop Princess font. And I am going to write star. I'm keeping everything in caps. So I want to press shift lock and I'm going to press S T A R wherever R is. R S T A R and guess what I forgot to do? I forget. <laughs> I forgot to hit shift lock. That's okay. It still looks really cute. All right, now I'm going to use since I did star, I'm going to use the rock and I'm using Kiwi Kiss cardstock, and I am going to use my fit to length so I don't make it too long. So I'm going to make it, let's see, I think I'm going to make it seven inches long. So let me do seven inches first. It's right on my face. Okay, seven inches long. I'm going to hit fit to length, and I'm going to take off, actually, it is the Pop Princess, leave that on, and I'm going to hit the Hannah Montana button and press cut and that's going to make it uh, that's going to be very big that's alright, it'll be fun it will be a fun scrapbook page it's going to say rock star and I can use it for any of the little concerts that my girls have gone to or or just put a picture in there because they're rock stars here we go Okay, this project is just turning out so adorable. I am just really excited. You're going to start with a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. We're making the scrapbook page now. And grab an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. This is just my simple pattern system, or my sketch system. And you can do it so many ways and make the page look different every time. Okay, I'm just going to add it up at the top. Somewhere at the top, doesn't really matter. Now I'm using this glittered cardstock from Die Cuts with a View, which I absolutely adore. I love it. And it's cut at, I believe it's two and a half inches. Two, two, two and a half inches. Throw that across the bottom. And now our title. Okay, you can do many different things with this. It's going to say Rockstar. You can have it up here and have your star over this way, but what I've decided to do is put it down right here. Now I'm going to take the star that I cut out, we cut out earlier, using the Pop Princess font, and I'm going to have the S, T, A, R, I'm just going to say rock star, and try to center that too. And this is kind of more like a one picture with some journaling scrapbook page. It's not going to fit a ton of pictures on here. So it says rock star and now let's add an embellishment to it. <laughs> Duh, let's see here. Ah, There we go. There you go. Is that better everyone? Rock star. See I do it all the time. I totally mess up all the time on my pages. Okay here's the butterfly that I cut right here. Is this butterfly just so adorable. Oh my goodness. I love it. Okay. I have my scoring blade in and what I'm going to do is carefully score the wings just very lightly. Right there. And droot. I'm going to score right there. Don't want it to cut through so you just do it really lightly. Okay, so now why did you score the ring the wings? Well, let me show ya. If you fold them up like this, and I'm going to fold the other one up like this, and now I'm going to add it. Is this just the cutest thing ever? I told you! So adorable! And I'm just going to add it down in the center. I'm just going to use zip glue, zip dry. And now my embellishment. I'll show you the finished product in just a second. Project in just a second. Okay, so here's my cute butterfly. Is that just so awesome? I just think it's so cute. And I know it's been done a million times, but I've never done it with this kind of butterfly. I've done it with a bumblebee before in vellum, 
and it looked just so adorable. Okay, so I'm just using Zip Dry again. Do -do -do. And the reason why is I'm, I'm trying to stick something on glittered cardstock, and your regular adhesive will usually have a hard time with regular cardstock, but this Zip Dry doesn't seem to have a problem, so let's see here. Stick this on here like that, like so. Put it on there. Okay, give that a few seconds to dry. And let me zoom it out again. Okay, here is my scrapbook page, rock star. I just need to attach those down. And you can add more embellishments if you want, you can just keep it simple and add your pictures, pictures and journaling and you have a fun scrapbook page.